Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Gravian Skies, the Minecraft modded sky block. With me, Barzilla. And today, we are going to continue on our computer struggles and face Omega-ness. Now, I've realized something over this time, and that we need to work towards power before we can actually do our computers. And I've guaranteed that I'm done messing around now. I'm going to get the power done, hopefully within an episode or two. We'll see how far we get today. And then we're going to build our Omega computer, get our storage going, and become Omega and get all the stuff done. So today we're going to really quickly get into here, but first I'm going to show you what this Axe of the Stream does. Um, I'll be honest, I have no idea what Frugal 5 does. But I know what Repair 5 does. It repairs it. <laughs> but many of you were wondering what it did, and I'm about to show you right now. If you chop this down, it chops the tree down from the top to the bottom. Extremely, extremely helpful for just, you know, collecting stuff, etc. Um, let me see if I can't get another... Actually, in all honesty, I don't really need this sapling. Eh. We'll grow one anyway. Um, but that's what that does, and it is extremely helpful for, at least for... Um, uh, jungle saplings, etc. But that's a very great reward, as I was saying in the other episode. Truly great, and it's infinite forever. So when this breaks, I'm just not going to repair it. I'm going to keep this, probably. Although, it still can be a little annoying at times. So, without further ado, we're going to start into the computer stuff. Let me just drop some of this stuff off in my rubber. Boom. So, we're going to go right into the computer stuff. We're going to actually have to discover steel and make a steel plant. That is our goal for today. Make a steel plant. I'll probably put it right here for t this episode, but I'll probably make an extra steel room for the future. Oh, not this book. Quest book. And actually, first off, I'm just going to get um, this real quick so we can get some nether uranium. Because in this mod pack, these two are extremely easy to get. Um, I don't really know what Urutal ore does, but I know I've watched several people do agrarian skies, and nether uranium is insanely hard to get. I've actually already collected graphite bar and eulorium dust off camera. Um, let me see, Ra graphite dust is just cooking coal. All I had to do is cook one coal to get one graphite, and eulorium dust is a sulfur and pulverized tin, so very easy to get. So um, let's just get that nether uranium. And like I said, uh, yellow heart canister, so now we'll have two of those, that's extremely helpful. Um, another heart, 28 remaining. Um, as I said, this nether uranium is extremely rare, so that is a very good reward. And our reward bag is a fishing rod. Um, it's a good fishing rod, but like a, not really going to use it at least for a couple episodes, so that's fine. That's fine. So that gets that, and then that'll get us into this is our power supply. Once we have this, we'll be able to do our computer stuff, because this is infinite energy. However, we cannot get this right now, because we need steel. And to get steel, we need to start the steel stuff. So I've already made scorch bricks off camera, but in short, it's a seared bricks, which is um, these bricks right here, which is made by Grout. Um, these and then you melt them in the furnace and you put them over a um, brick and it'll give you uh, these scorch bricks so I've made several off camera just so you know not to bore you guys to death <laughs> um, so let's make a scorched drain scorched scorched drain okay scorched drain is made by that it should be fairly simple We're like we should just be able to tear these um, down. Oh. High oven controller. Let me see here. High oven controller is a, is like a um, whatever it's called, a furnace only with bricks. So that's a high oven controller, and we also need oh, steel power plate, flight, and scorched duct. The duct. Um like that beautiful so boom boom like that and that will get us our enough to get our rewards scorch brick our graveyard soil um i think i might want the brick but what's graveyard soil i'll be honest i don't know 
Oh, that's super easy to get. That's like a ridiculously easy. So we're gonna get scorch bricks. Um, so 20 scorch bricks and a reward bag. Never can argue with that. Extra heart for later. Stick that right there. That's very helpful. And another good reward bag. Let us see what we get. Glowstone nooks. Pretty sure this is just glowstone. It's not that great. It's just glowstone like chopped up. Um, not even worthy of that chest in all honesty. We'll just stick you in here for now. So, we need to make an actual steel thing, and that doesn't matter. And this is actually getting into, like, the steel. Oh, this is making a turbine, which we... We'll still do this, but I don't think I'm going to make a turbine. Um, up and away, a litstone jetpack. Like I said, this is getting pretty crazy. I'm pretty sure I'm going to need... Actually, I kind of want to make it... No, no, no. We're going to make um, our little steel thing. So, let's see if we can... Um, any combination of 24 Scorch Bricks, um, let's just get 24 real quick, 2, 3, 4, um, Scorch Duct, Scorch Drain, High Oven Controller, um, I'm gonna really quickly set this up over here, and we will start making steel, um, I'm pretty sure it is just like this little thingy, like this, only with steel, but we'll find out. Okay, I've done a tiny bit of research. I've also finished off this. This should be just enough. Um, I think it's just enough. So there we go. Now we have our heat oven. Um, if I remember correctly, I'm also going to need a lever to turn it on and off. Uh, just the way it works. I don't know why I have crushed silver. Um, if you guys know what's wrong here, this thing keeps occasionally getting stuffed, um, when it gets to certain ores. Um, there's an empty chest here, so I don't know why it, it's, I don't know. If you guys know how to fix that, tell me. Uh, just a tiny little side note. Um, okay, so we're gonna need a lever, if I do believe so. Yes, I do. And we also need a ton of charcoal to fuel this thing, as well as iron to turn into steel, etc, etc. So I'm actually going to need some more iron, and I can actually show you my little process over here. So we do this here, um, this here, um, I still have some seared stone in here, and I'll turn it on anyway. Oh, what's the worst that could happen? So as you can see, it's pouring in the seared stone at the moment, and then it's going to suck it out of this chest, or was there not even enough for that? Uh, there wasn't even enough for that, so we're going to just break this and get this back. There wasn't enough for a brick, but if there was, it would have. So right now, since we need uh, iron, we're just going to stick some iron in here, and then by the time we need it later, it'll be finished and done. And I won't want to hand do it all. It was just getting a little annoying, and it's su super duper easy to make that. So as I said, I need charcoal to fuel this thing, and I've been cooking some charcoal um, up for that. Um, a friend told me that if you got some charcoal blocks, um, it was just as helpful. So, to make steel, we need to put the steel we want to cook, not, is it this it? Um, this here, this here, this here. Um, iron to steel here, and then cook it here. And then we need this lever. Please tell me I'm doing this right. On. There we go. Now it's cooking. And also note, we needed to make it super high. Um, that was actually a problem I had previously. Um, as you get, as you guys don't know, I have a t I made a tiny little world just testing all this stuff out. Um, and it would only it would stay at 110 degrees or something, so if you're confused, you have to actually make it an extra layer, even though it's not a necessity. So it'll consume one of, two of these, one of these, and one of these per steel. Um, charcoal blocks are being the best. Let's put like two more blocks in there. Um, it does run forever though, so we're gonna have to just heat it up every time uh, we wanna heat it up. So let's look, see if the iron's cooked, or see if you guys can see what I'm doing here. As you can see, it's pouring in the oil, I mean the 
iron in there and it's coming out this way. Very, very helpful. So let's stick a tiny bit more iron in here as we're going to need as much iron as we can get. Oh man, it really... Um, and you're probably like, wait, there's like 32 in here, where's all it? It's like stuck in this fluid duct. There's like a ton of iron in the fluid duct. That was actually one of the things that I messed up on. I was like, oh, it's all done. So let's see. Getting pretty hot. I'm pretty sure it gets over um, 12,000 Celsius. And I don't even know what that is in Fahrenheit. Because I use Fahrenheit. I don't know who uses Celsius. Probably a lot of people use Celsius. Because Celsius is so much easier. I don't know why we use Fahrenheit. Celsius just makes so much more sense. Zero is freezing and 100 is boiling. It makes so much more sense. <laughs> um, okay, so it's cooking. I'm trying to think, what can we do while we're waiting? I was, gonna, I was thinking of maybe a story, but I don't know. Story time's a little funky. Iron's getting very cooked. It's very warm, very toasty in there. Um, let's look at the iron. Get some more of our iron going. Um, I guess while that's cooking, we can, let's just go explore our world for a little bit. Um, probably only be like two minutes. Let's look at our nice little mansion over here. I really love the looks of this. Um, none of you guys commented on it. Come on, tell me if you liked it. It's pretty awesome, I believe. <laughs> um, nothing really added here yet. Um, I'm thinking a bunch of Thomcraft could be done here. Um, I'm not really sure what other magic there is in this mod. Um, maybe bees. This could be a bee section. That that looks bee. B-E. <laughs> oh my. Okay, so our steel should be pretty good now. It's getting nice nice and cooked, nice and toasty. I think a block of charcoal should last for a long time too, so... So, you know, we're not completely wasting our charcoal. Let's see. Okay, it's 1400 Celsius, and that should be pretty much enough to turn this into whatever we need to turn into here. And let's get some more blocks, because I really don't need this charcoal in all honesty. Um, eight, nine. Did it go down? It used a thing. Why am I not getting... Why did I know? Why you no get... Oh, do I have to, like, cook it out? I bet I have to take it out. Is it, like... Oh, yeah, there it is, steel. Um... We need a table. Um, I think I have a table here. Casting basin. I want a casting table. Uh, casting table. I don't really have that. That's kind of bummer. Um, decisions, decisions. Oh, I did have a thing there, though. Uh, the, uh, this thing. I'm going to have to stop our production of iron for a second so we can do this. Boom. Let me look. It's three ingots going well, going well. Um, and it hasn't consumed that much. Okay, this is very good. This is going to get us right where we need to go. Um, steel power flight. What can we work on today? Let's get the steel. Uh, let's get the steel armor for for today. That sounds like a good little thing. And then we're going to pretty much work on the reactor pretty soon, so we can have pretty much omega stuff. Um, as you can see, this is so nice because I don't have to hand do all this. Um, I don't know how much more iron there is in here. Oh, it says empty. Oh, good, good, good. So let's just get this back. Um, I'll probably have to ma I'll make another one of these off camera. But let us get our first steal going on here. Ha 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 ha. Boom. Steal. Ingot. Yeah. Beautiful. Um, how much do we have? We have a ton. Oh, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. So, let us get our armor. Oh, look. You can do two steel at once. Super duper fast. <laughs> Wish I knew that before. And we are back. Welcome back. Um, steel has been going great. I currently have 32 steel, um, everything's kind of run out now. Uh, still using the charcoal to keep it heated. I probably shouldn't keep it in there, but in all honesty, I don't care. Um, what happens to that charcoal? Um, but yeah, 32 steel, working great. So let us go ahead into our steel power plate. 
and we just have to make a whole set of steel so let us go ahead and do that there is the helmet the body the legs and the boots and we still have eight left over very expensive actually kind of reward get our rewards a basic reward but it kind of wasn't worth it another fishing rod <laughs> My gosh, we're getting the we're getting the fishing rods going. Uh, as for this steel, I kind of don't want to wear it right now, um, as my armor is kind of good right now, like not broken good, if you know what I mean. Steel's better than iron, but um, that's that. So we're getting right through this stuff. Um, I got the stuff for the deep tank. Like I said, don't worry about that right now. Um, the deep tank, I'm not going to be using at least not for a long stinging time unless someone's like oh no if you use the deep tank it gives you 50 billion resources <laughs> but you don't so it's just me by doing this um don't really care about this right now but we've made it deep tank another reward bag oh a good reward bag this time okay is it me or have we gotten this three times in a row <laughs> Um, still very good if we want to get, once we get to fishing, but what are the chances that we got that three times in a row? I'm going to tell you right now, it is really low. <laughs> oh, dear. So let us continue down our path to this. Um, like I said, we're going to do the reactor next episode. It's going to be great. Um, the steel turbine and the steel housing steam turbine steam housing I don't know how much that I may just randomly make that yeah we're gonna be doing that in the beginning of the next episode but there was always this up up and away um steam turbine steam turbine oh we can get the reward done if we make this so a leadstone jetpack is extremely easy to make um we need a leather body and I've already pre-made all this, the leadstone jetpack. Um, sadly, we do not have the stuff to fill it with energy yet. I don't think so. Um, I'll check in a second, but I'm pretty sure there's some special like powering device. I've made it in another thing. Um, the only thing here you don't know how to make is a leadstone thruster, which is made by all this craziness, which we've already made in the past episodes. Steve Dynamos, Punamic Servos, leadstone. Very, very easy stuff. So there is our lead stone jet pack. Very nice, and we're going to get some steam turbines. Because, in a greater reward bag, because steam turbines are what we need for this quest. Oh, we still have, we have to actually make it. We can't just, um, it's a crafting task, so we're still going to do that next time. Um, lead stone jet pack, uh, probably will never really truly use it. Um, I don't think we, nah, I, we don't have the thing to just power it right now, but that's still very nice, and we, let us see, um, oh, steam turbine, uh, I don't even know if we'll ever make a straight turbine, but let's see what this bag is, 16 panamic servos, eh, you know, that's not bad reward, um, I'll definitely use it in the future, but that's nice and all, so let us keep looking on this thing. So we have our steam room and our reactor warm up. Now next episode, I'm going to tell you right now, we'll probably, I don't even know if we'll even make this. Um, reactor glass, yeah, we'll probably make this really quickly in the beginning of the next episode. But next episode, we will be making the reactor of Omega-ness. Truly amazing. It's going to give us infinite power and we can finally get down to our computer stuff. It's going to be great. We'll be able to store everything we want in here. We'll be able to, like, wirelessly make stuff. It's just going to make our Minecraft experience billions times better. But, guys, thanks so much for watching. Shorter episode, but I'd still appreciate it if you leave a like and a comment. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you're excited about the computer and Omega Power we're going to be get going here. Tell me if you think 2,000 degrees Celsius is freaking super duper hot. I don't even know what that is in Fahrenheit. Um, let me see. It's like times nine divided by five or something. So um, I don't even know. I don't even know. But thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.
拜。